feel it. We don't really know pain at all. We here. Safe stand the fuck up. We taking this shit all the way to the top. I promise you. We here at Heavy A Studio. Great hard entertainment. Let's get it poppin', man. What's good? It's your boy B Hill, Brave Heart Entertainment. We back at it again. Heavy A Studio, man. You know what it is. And I got my man SF in here. What's good, bro? What's up? You already know. We here. How, how you feeling? How you feeling? Great, man. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. There's nothing to complain about, man. Yeah. Man. Work was work. Just work, right? But, man, where do we even start? So, if y'all don't know, I met SF at the hit, not hit, I love it, the Snow Beach video shoot. You did with Kaimo and, and uh, Pasey. Shout out right. to Kaimo, the American Shout Dream Three, Kaimo, and everything. You're right. Yes, sir. Um, and you, you're originally from Pasey, right? Correct. Uptown Pasey. Yes, sir. I was in all the projects actually when I moved here. Mm -hmm. I came here like two years old. We was in Third Street projects, Sixth Street projects. Uh, not Third Street. Yeah. Sixth Street projects, Aspen, and then Chestnut. So, oh, so I was in Chest Chestnut for like 15 years. Oh, so when you yeah. say the say, you mean the say? Like, yeah, yeah. Really, you. uptown, midtown, uh -huh. downtown, all over, man. Yeah, I'm repping. I'm repping the whole city, man. I want them to know that. You mm -hmm. know. I like how you say that because a lot of people don't like. You get these rappers who rep their city and everything, but they don't like to carry it with them as they grow and keep growing in their career. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's but like you, you can't shit. forget. That's where the fuck you started at. You know. Mm -hmm. For real. And you always got to come back there. So how can you forget where you got to go back? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The city be showing you love like that when you be yeah, popping back yeah, out? Yeah, of course, man. That shit crazy. Look look at the video shoot. That shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. That shit was a movie out there. Yeah, the video shit was wild. That energy. We, that energy end up fucking, we, we end up doing a video the same day the city was doing a parade. So, yeah, which was wild. Was yeah, like, we didn't even... <laughs> I mean, it wasn't planned out. That's just how the, the shit connected, mm -hmm. you know? It was cool that... The whole energy was there at that moment. You know? Yeah. So now, how did how did you and Kaimo originally link up, though? Um, like you knew him before music shit or not? No, nah, really? no. Nah, I, I didn't know. I ain't gonna lie. I really didn't know him at all. But my man's put me on to him mm -hmm. a while ago. Shout out to Focus. He put me on to him and he was like, "Yeah, this nigga from Pasig too. He rap. He nice. Ah, ah. And I'm like, "Yeah. I, ain't, I mean, I don't really know who rap from Pasig because I've been rapping for, in Pasig this." For a long time, you know, mm -hmm. so going on like what eight years, probably longer, Shh, at least fifteen years. Oh shit! Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I've been rapping since I was a little kid, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and I was rapping with the guys that was the first rappers in Pasig. Mm -hmm. By the way, shout out to them because they're the reason why we all started rapping, you yeah. know, like Eternal, Killer K, people like that is yeah. The reason we was rapping, you know, mm -hmm. and we just end up just going and, and never stopping. At, at least I can speak for myself. I never stopped, and you know, I took the shit. The farthest is, is gotten with anybody. You know? Yeah. So how does that make you feel knowing that you took this shit that far? It's it's like I, it's not even. I can't even. I don't even pay attention to it. Mm -hmm. I still feel like I'm nobody, and I'm just still trying to get get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm hungry, like I. I feel like that's that's not where it ends, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I, when I sit down and, and actually think about it, oh damn, I am the first rapper to take it this far from the city. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to acknowledge that and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they acknowledge that too, you know? Yeah. But if they don't, uh, you need to, you know? Because I am that motherfucker that took it the farthest here. Not to sound cocky with it or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, but it's just but the truth. That that's just, the yeah, that's just a fact. I never really spoke on it and I don't really do interviews. I did probably one interview before, you know? Yeah. I don't do much interviews like that, so I don't really get to speak a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. But I say that to say I'm taking it even farther than, than I'm taking it now. You know what I'm saying? Pause. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all that shit. Yeah. I'm taking this shit to the top, bro. Watch. I already know. So, oh yeah. yeah, and with what's coming next, I already, I already see the future. <laughs> and like, you can tell though, like they watch it, so like the support is there and everything. So of they see they what you're are, doing. Man. Yeah, Cause if, what, if they um, don't see. I mean, I mean, we all got eyes and ears, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they all work. Okay. So like what? Personal is that what thirty thousand now? Yeah, something I like that. that on, on, you know, and and Thanksgiving. Yeah. And you yes, keep track of the does. stats. You keep oh, every, every course, week. Yeah. You're looking at them shits like, oh, well, we keep uh, going. Of course, uh, if if you're not if you're not on top of your shit, who is? You mm -hmm. know, and that's that you get paid for that. So yeah. I better be on top of my shit. <laughs> so like, there's no denying that 
you really building this shit up and doing it better. I don't want to say better. You're doing it. I'll say better. Fuck it. You're doing it better than a lot of people really are. Mm -hmm. And shout out to everybody doing their thing. Mm -hmm. I want want to make that clear, too. I don't want nobody to feel like I'm in competition with them. I'm trying to be better than them. I'm trying to outshine them. I'm opening the door for us at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? I want want this light to be on the city, not just me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I come from, say, New Jersey, so... I want the industry to know. Damn, there's a lot of a lot of talent out there too. It's not just ourselves, you know. Oh yeah, and, and I just want them to like take this shit serious, man. If you if, if this is something you really want to do, take it serious, bro. Mm-hmm. And, and and take pride in your work. Don't just do shit that, that people doing because you think it's hot or it sound good or, or you just biting sounds or be creative too. Like remember remember the start of this shit. These people was. Oh, you sound like this, so I gotta sound like this, cause mm-hmm. we can't sound like y'all. And, you know, them niggas was rapping. Remember from the beginning, all them niggas ain't sound the same. From mm-hmm. Pun, for all of all them niggas, man, Jay Z, all them guys wasn't trying to rap like like each other. They was doing them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's what made them unique and stick out the most. Yeah, hell yeah. I guess I guess that's what's was working out on mine, and I'm I'm just sticking to my sound, and I'm creating even new sounds as I go. Each mm-hmm. song, I create a new sound. I'm like, damn, how the fuck? And each song, you create a new flow, too. Yeah, it's not even yeah, the sound. Yeah, it's yeah. the flow in your wordplay. It's just yeah. wild. Yeah, where well, I appreciate that. Like, I that said that in the, that I said that in the Snow Beach reaction video. I was like, how yeah. you came on this track is just what the fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Mm-hmm. Adios, I gotta go. See you in So now when... Shit like that. <laughs> so that when in your career did you really start to take this shit seriously and you was like... I could really do something with this. Because it's been a long time coming. Yeah, I could. This is just so many. I got so many like lives with this shit. It was. I was here at this age, here at this age, here at this age. Here. So it's like so many different experiences. But I, I, I know I had to start taking it super serious when I realized it's possible. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit. In 2011 was the first time I got my songs. On the radio, mm-hmm. you know, it was with, it was it was with KAR. Shout out to KAR. We in the building. It was it was it was on a song with KAR. But at the same time, I'm on that shit, and I'm like, damn, I'm on the radio now. Mm-hmm. And I got the person that's on the radio, K Slay. Rest in peace, K Slay. He coming up to me in the club, talking about, yo, I really fuck with you. I fuck with that song I'm playing. That sh- you you went in it. This is a legendary person that I looked up to, listening to, and. It's just amazing for him to come to me and tell me that, yeah. especially like on some, I yo, you doing your shit. thing, like, oh, I'm like, what the fuck is is surreal? Is that case say case so those moments, right now? yeah, those moments, and and even to most recent moments, you know, I, I've been in situations where I'm with legendary people by myself, just me and this person, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and it's just us vibing, and and I can't believe what's happening. I'm I'm in that moment, but I can't believe it, you know, yeah. because. It's, it's really it's really almost impossible to get there. Mm-hmm. So when you start really cracking down doors and, and getting into certain rooms and, and making certain noises, like, damn, this shit is crazy. It's, it's well, you, you're really putting in the groundwork, too. Because, like, I see you at every single event these motherfuckers is throwing. That's shit, I ain't gonna lie. Like, enough throwing an event. You post out on Instagram and you at that club that night. Yeah, like, J Hood, like anybody, you just that's, always out. Uh, that's, I ain't gonna lie. I would say this. That's the advice I could give the artists. Mm-hmm. If you in this business, you need to be pulling up to these things and showing love to these people because these are the same people that you need to show love to you. Mm-hmm. So, why wouldn't you go? You know how long I've been going to DJ enough parties? Probably and introducing myself, he told me to my face like, "Yo, you, I remember you forever for going to my parties and introducing yourself, and I already knew who you was, mm-hmm. but you still introducing yourself." I'm like, I didn't realize that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm just hungry. Like, yo, flaws, man. Yeah, I do music, by the way. Yo, showing love. I'm out here. Yeah. Anything you need, we are here. Shit like that, bro. People take that shit into consideration, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's why you hit me on Noah too. Legendary, going crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, what artist has got there on a new at two DJ enough? Exactly. Hot ninety seven, prime time. And he was up freestyling with enough too, yeah, right? Yeah. Did the hot box with him, all that mm-hmm. shit. I mean, point them, wait, point out the other artists from this city that has done that. They haven't, so mm-hmm. just you know, 
as possible and just keep going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And stop competing with each other because we ain't in competition, bro. It's enough for everybody. Yeah. That's why that's why I like the way you maneuver and you really put the work in too cuz it's like you're out the way where you don't have to deal with the competition this, you don't mm -hmm. have to deal with the little petty shit involving the music industry, but, but you're super in the but mix. you're super in the mix with everything else. Mm -hmm. Like you found the perfect balance, which is fucking Thank dope. Thank God. I, yo, it's I ain't gonna lie, put God first with everything, cause mm -hmm. I've I've experienced things where it's like that's definitely that was definitely God, you know. Yeah. Moment such as I for example, personal. My father passed away February second, two thousand twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Sorry for your loss. So you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Mm -hmm. That song was played at two twenty-two p.m. That same night. Me and my girl saw a shooting star the same night. So I'm like, what the fuck? It's, that's kind of crazy. That's some know? shit you can't Anybody, you can't, you can't make that up. And for that to be a true story, it has to be something like mind blowing to everybody. It's like, damn, that, that really, that's crazy how that connected right there, you know? So yeah, exactly. that shit just, that's God, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say it's real, so keep God first. So man, speak on this uh, DJ Enough situation though. How was it your first time up there? Mm, that had to man, feel like I was almost. I made it almost. I was like almost shit. harassing enough. I'm, <laughs> I was hitting them up every day, DMs, this, that. Yo, that, yo, flex playing my music. Yo, can you please play my music? Yo, and yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Consistency is key. You know yeah. what I mean, consistency. It's almost like he probably like, and he and he. And this he told me, as hell. Nah, he hit me. He hit me like, yo, this nigga hungry. Like, yo, you know what? Before I play your music, come up here and do the hot box. I'm like, Shh, say one. <laughs> I'm there right now. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the date. I went up there. I did my thing. And from there, he played my music consistently. And shout out to Enough, because without Enough, I'm like, Shh, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. He got, he got, he opened so many doors for me. Shout out to Pistol Pete, too. They opened so many doors for me that it's just, I'm grateful for that, you know, and I'm just taking this shit and you already know. Yeah. Making it, make, making it happen. Oh, of I mean, course. Making shit happen. So now, how did that relationship with Pistol Pete come about? That was a we're long talking time about ago, like Passaic huh? and Bronx, like how? Yeah, you, imagine that, so, right? Yeah, and you said that's been around since two thousand six. No, I know, I know, you peed since two thousand six. Damn. Yeah, mm -hmm. know him, and when I met him, I, I wasn't like down with him and rapping with him. You know what I'm saying? I was just around entourage type shit. Yeah. Background and all that. I knew him. He was showing me love. Thank God that you know I me. Mean? He, he he was. He pointed me out, showed me love. He ain't, he ain't had problem with that, like, you know what I mean? Cause he's a person that people, you know, kind of kind of afraid to get next to, you know. Yeah. And and I look at him like, Shh, I respect him so much. He got so much love for me, and it's like, damn. I, I wish the industry would see that he's a good person too, you know. Yeah. Cause like, if you once you have somebody in your corner like that, almost like yeah, a big that, brother that relationship. Thing, it's I, like, it was it was through his brother too that I met him because uh, it, I was down with a group called Gun Mob. You know what I mean? Which his brother started. So I was already they 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 I knew them because they was doing their album. K A R presents uh Fat Joe and Pistol P presents K A R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that, that shit. That they recorded that in the studio I was recording. Oh, My shit. Word. Yeah, that's how I, that's how we knew them. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So my engineer introduced me to Pete and from there he took a liking to me. The same night he met me, he put me on a song with K A R. And oh shit! I said the first time I got played was 2011. Part of me, it was 06. Mm -hmm. That was just a verse. That night I met him. He put me in a song. That song got played by K. Slay that night. Yeah. So that's wild. How that that's shit 2006. Out, like, yeah. I, and and remember, I wasn't down with him yet. He just did me the favor on some yo just yo love. this shit. Yo, this your little man's like he's talking to the engineer. Yo, this your this your guy. Uh, yo, put him on this song. Let, let, let him get on this verse. Yeah. It's going on case late tonight. I was like, I started writing my verse immediately. I did that shit right on the spot. And that shit was on case late that night. I thought I made it. I was with my boy. Coincidentally, his name is Brian. Oh shit. Crazy. I'm with him in his car. We in his house. It's like it's like two in the morning. You know, case late was on like late night, two to three or some shit like that, or yeah. one to three or some shit. We in the we in the crib and I'm like, oh shit, yo, case late about to be on. We ran to the car, start listening to the radio, and the shit came on. 
and hearing myself, I thought I made it. I was like, yeah, I was screaming. You know how I the couldn't movies, even believe you know the movies when, when when the artists they finally hear their song on the radio and they be like, yeah, they were jumping up and down. I really that I experienced that. Yeah. yeah, I had that moment, where this moment. And that's a moment that you'll never ever forget. Man, no, that's, fuck no. Two thousand, we in two thousand twenty three. That was mm -hmm. 06. Yeah, word, man. I say eleven was the beginning because eleven was the beginning to every year on the radio. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that got that's what that's what got me to this point, man. The fucking consistency. And then now you got click clack on the radio, right? Yeah, that shit went crazy. That shit went crazy all last summer. Right now, right now we uh we have Bronx, New York on the radio too. Yeah. Shout out uh shout out Fat Joe, Trap, uh Side Money, we Raw Cash, you already know we smashed that. Mm -hmm. I was crazy. We had the video, video on YouTube. Check that, that video out. Was fire yeah, too. the video was crazy. Um, right now we working. Uh, 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 was live is outside. Shout out to Fame, mm -hmm. my brother Fame from Florida. Um, shout out Trap Inside. That that's that song was crazy too. The, the video about to be done. Um, and after that we got some surprises, man. We're, we got some big surprises. So this work is just nonstop. This shit never stops. And it's not even every like, year. You better fucking work if you think you're gonna make it somewhere. Yeah. And it's not even like y'all are just sticking to you guys. It's like you say, Florida, connected yeah, with all these different yeah, artists yeah, everywhere. And, and you see me, like I have no shame in letting you know what's going on with the other people in my team. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is this is, this is a team. That's how that's how people do it. That's how a player's supposed to do it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I play my team, I play my position, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Straight like that. When it's my time when I got the ball, I'm going in. You know what I'm saying? When my my man's got the ball, yo, go in. This is your turn. Nigga, you better score. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. It's, it's, it's all. Come on, my nigga. If it's a team, y'all niggas better stick together. Yeah, man. It's Real rap. Only if so many other people would have thought the same way as you, we could have been made as a state, bro. It's wild. This city would have been so lit. I, yo, that's crazy. You say that because the people I first started rapping with, mm -hmm. if we would, if we would have this mentality right that I have, all of us then, mm -hmm. we would have been millionaires already. Yeah. What do you think? For sure. What do you think changed in you to put that mentality in you? The experience, the the, the, the going, going through, through it, yeah, going through the ups and downs, yeah, going through the uh, uh, failed relationships, friendships, ups and downs, all that shit, the, the losses, yeah, you know how I many losses I took before I got a W, mm -hmm. I took major losses, man, I took extreme losses my whole life, you know, yeah. real shit. And like it's just part of the game at this point because mm -hmm. like you can't avoid the losses. It all yeah, depends on it come with the yeah. It all depends on how you bounce back from the it. territory, man. You it, it come with it come with this shit, bro. You yeah. better be ready for the losses. You better have that thick skin and be ready to bounce back because oh, yeah. shit, you can't bounce back. You're done. It's over. Oh you know yeah. Because the minute you can't bounce back, and then you start trying to circle back three months later and bounce back, nah, it's over with. Yeah, it's like, over. You can't do that. It's, and I ain't gonna lie, I had a tough year last year. Last year was a very tough year for me. Like I said, I lost my father, mm -hmm. and he was my everything. You know, he was there from since I was a baby. You know, since since I can remember. And I lost my mother when I was four years old. So shit is real on this, huh? Mm -hmm. at, at, but that being said, it's like I think I was fucking molded in my whole life for this. Mm -hmm. That's why I I could I I, I think I'm grown in this business and. and I, I believe I'm gonna be major because what I went through pretty much shaped and molded me for this. You know what I'm saying? Because this business is is not easy. It's a grimy business. It's a backstabbing. It's cut dog, dog, it's, dog world yeah, type it's, shit. It's everybody for themselves. Thank God I'm with some people that you know. The first thing is loyalty, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. if, if you could be loyal with, with your people and, and, and stick together, I'm telling you, you can make it, bro. You mm -hmm. can make it happen. So now, speaking on that grimy business, when you found out how grimy this music industry really is, did that kind of turn you off a little bit? Definitely, man. Like, man, I don't want to join this shit. I'm, yeah, not, I'm not built for this. I'm yeah, not cut from that sure. cloth. That shit, it's just, it's just, it's unexpected. It was an unexpected, like, like, reality check. Like, damn, everything ain't just cool with this shit. Yeah. I mean, people think that everything is... Oh my God! Glitz and glamour, and then everything is perfect. Man, money and all this, cars, jewelry, this, th it's it's not all, it's not all great. Too, yeah. You know, you go through a lot of bullshit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So you better be ready to fight through that shit, maneuver through that shit, and keep going because that's what's gonna make the artist you're gonna be. Yeah. 
Because it's like, we grew up watching this shit and seeing it from the mm-hmm. outside looking mm-hmm. in. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like when they say, don't meet your heroes because you'll be turned off immediately. That's yeah, kind of like, how I'm this shit is. Like, oh, damn, I don't really like his attitude like that. That's kind of whack. Like, mm-hmm. I thought he was a little, you know what I'm saying? And I've met people that I didn't even expect it to be great people. Yeah. I'm like, wow, like, damn, like, you don't even... I, I didn't expect that. I thought you was gonna be a fucking rude piece of shit. Like, and now you know you're just saying? the coolest dude ever. Yeah, yeah, like I vibe, like I vibe with people that I never expected to vibe with. It's mm-hmm. Like that's crazy, yo. And I salute them. I mean, shout out to them. I ain't gonna mention no names. Yeah. Sure. Um, but speaking of the people like that, because like you said, you ran into a lot of legendary ass people, and you did some legendary shit. I like, ran into people I didn't even know knew me. For real? Yeah. That shit crazy. I was like. At, at one point, I met a, I met a couple people. Well, not met, yeah, first time meeting them, they already knew who I was. I was like, you ain't even have to that's introduce a, yourself. That's yeah, that's that was another that's a, another mind blowing experience that you can meet legendary people that you didn't listen to and watch videos and looked up to and interviews and this and you meet them. They're like, yeah, what's up, boss? Oh, sh-. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that's what's up. Like, first of all, how the hell you know me? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yo. I ain't gonna lie. I, I gotta give my brother Pistol Pete a lot of credit because mm-hmm. he 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 helped me get into a lot of rooms that you can't get into. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's very hard to get into a lot of places. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this business is is like you get into the building, and and that building is a hundred floors and thirty thousand rooms in each floor, and this shit is you gotta just maneuver through the shit and find what floor is great, what room is right, and 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 that's how you. Establish a fucking foundation because this shit is crazy. Mm-hmm. I can only wrong. imagine what that shit is like, bro. That's yeah, it's not and easy. like that's the shit that I dreamed about when I was younger, seeing yeah, all this shit. Yeah, me too. It's like, like it's, watching it's inspiring. all these rappers and yeah, everything. Yeah, I'm like, yo, hell yeah, hell yeah. super what? inspiring, man. Hell yeah, that's what that's the motivation and drive that keeps fueling me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, shit. It's like it's like almost an addiction. You know what I'm saying? I want that. I yeah. wanted it so long, I'm gonna get that. I want that. Shit, you walked in mm-hmm. one door, now you gotta walk in two doors. Yeah. You did that. Now you yeah. gotta walk in four. And, and and it's like every accomplishment is just a stepping stone. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's not it's not the, the 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 okay, this is that's it. We that's it, we won. We accomplished it. Nah. That's like take that accomplishment and take and keep building till you till you fucking built where your friends and family is good. Where you buy your fucking oh. Mother and father house Where you, you know what I mean Where you able to Say oh shit You put your friend on And your friend m- Bought his mother and father a house Like this mm-hmm. is This is what we do it for You know what I'm saying To take care of one another And, and, and to make the shit expand Not just Be one person with it all Like I don't know It don't work like that It shouldn't work like that And yeah. unfortunately it's a, it's a cold world mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying There's a lot of greedy people out there You know But It's too much To to go around for, for one person to have it all so yeah so everybody that, gonna eat regardless do you think you made it you you close to making it to that part in your career yeah where you can be like all right now yes. we all right now let's go exactly home. yeah mm-hmm. this whole t- this this is not easy like i said this is a whole this is a whole road that this journey is tough yeah but i feel like i'm like i could grab i grab it. it's right there mm-hmm. it's so close it's right now and, and, and I'm an artist that's been on heavy radio consistently and, and met so many people and, and I'm still saying, nah, I, I'm not where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? So it says a lot, you know what I mean? Don't think that just because you accomplished certain things like I did, that that's it. Yeah. You did it. Nah, I don't know. It's, Trust it's me. deeper it's, than that. It's way, more to, it's way more to accomplish, bro. It's much more relationships to build. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's, it's much more to... Trust me, man. This shit, and I love it. It's a rush. You just having fun with this yeah, shit, right? Yeah, it's a rush. When when I accomplish certain things and I meet certain people and I enter certain rooms, it's like it's so exciting because you look around and you're seeing all these fucking people that it's the game. It's the fucking music business. It's, it's like oh shit, look at oh what the oh that's oh shit, look at such and such. Like I'm, I'm really the, here right now with all and, these and I'm, people. And I'm, I look at my girl. I'm like oh shit, then we in this room like this. Like oh shit, that's what's up. Like. Yeah. We in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's dope. That's or even when I'm a yap and we in certain buildings and we in certain and Khaled and this, that. And I'm like, what the fuck? Shit is a movie, man. Word. That's gotta be a wild feeling, bro. Wild. Word, shout out to Khaled too. Khaled's a real one. Word. I was gonna say because we was talking about that, so you've been around all these people like Pat Pooh showed you love. Yeah. Fat Joe, of course. Yeah. Shout out to the Bronx. Khaled. Because you got track tra- 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 with Khaled. 
Yeah, that's like why I say shout out to 2018 Cali, or 2019. Yeah, right? it's called Big Bands. That shit is still. I, I just hit 100,000 on, on, on SoundCloud and I wasn't able to release that song because I had issues with the beat, clearing the beat. Yeah. As far as like a sample that's within the beat, because people don't know that that sample is a, um some people that used to be down with um damn they from Memphis man um three six mafia I was yeah three six so I forgot the name of the song but the sample we had issues clearing mm -hmm. so I was just able to just SoundCloud it for free and shit like that whatever but you know. When the song is out, it's out. This shit take off and take off. Mm -hmm. And then we'll clear the sample and buy the shit. Whatever we gotta do later, we'll do it. Once you run into that problem, that's yeah, when yeah, fix it. Exactly. That'll fix it if the song take take off. So uh -huh. I mean at this point I would love to shoot a video for it and but that's not the only thing on the plate. You know what I mean? I got a lot of things going on, a lot of music that I have, so I'm not just focused on that song. Yeah. But Shout out to Khaled, because that was a fucking major song for me. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Enough played that shit for months on the Newhart, too. Drewski played that shit for... Man, shout out to DJ Drewski, too. Yeah, That's a real one. Drewski, right Drewski. Drewski. Yeah, Jersey in the building. Drewski, Wala played that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was a movie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That, that record opened a lot of doors for me, too. Mm -hmm. Word. Well, shit. <clears throat> so, big bands. Basically, what we're saying is, all it takes is one record for multiple people to be looking for you because mm. you saying like this record did this for you this record mm -hmm. got you in this building this mm -hmm. record had this person looking at you yeah, yeah. so shout out the pa i'm glad you said papoose shout out to papoose he a real one too mm -hmm. and he just got a position at tune Corps. so congratulations right. to him hell yeah that nigga salute head, up hip -hop, head up hip-hop at tune Corps, man that nigga there ain't nobody papoose. better for that job than him yeah, yeah, that's what, right. I, yo i hit up tune Corps on instagram they 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 commented back and all like, yeah, we glad to have Pat. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got the right one for that. Cause yeah, don't fuck that one. That, that nigga right there, he 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 did a fucking album a month, a whole year, twelve Literally. albums. Who worked harder than I never seen him work? I think like that ever. So he inspired me so much doing that shit. I'm like, damn, I gotta step my shit up. Yeah, he was like, I, I, need, I need two albums every I month. Need, not even that, just I, cause I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a single I'm a I'm a hit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm a single type of rapper. Yeah, like, you're like big into the projects. I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I got one project out, and, and I would love to put another project out, but I know that all it takes is one song, mm -hmm. and my concentration be that one song that I could make that is just general makes a general statement that general all the people could uh, relate and attract to it and like you know what I'm saying we uh, those type of songs that people sing and dance those uh, 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 those feel good records I'm, I'm looking for those joints and I've yeah. been catching them lately that's that's what's getting me closer and closer to so it's gonna happen you need one of them feel good joints because it's yeah. almost it's, once that once that song comes yeah. back out yeah. oh, oh man, man. That's <laughs> a, yeah that's a, i got something crazy this summer man shout out shout out to the 2003 summer it's gonna be crazy though got a whole summer anthem in the cut that yeah <laughs> for sure be, summer yo. anthem in the cut man mm -hmm. you ain't lying bro but with, with everything on your plate like that like you said, you got this track, you got this event, you got this shout show. out to KL. We working, we got we got so much shit out there too. How do you manage to do all that shit in a fucking day? Man. Not even a day, in like a week. Like it's organize just, everything. It's just, just learn how to manage your time, learn how to manage your your your, your priorities, mm -hmm. learn how to all that. More, uh, even down to money management. You know what I'm saying? That, all that, bro. And cleanliness is next to godliness. You know what I'm saying? Oh, everything, man. Everything mm -hmm. from waking up in the morning and making your bed. Mm -hmm. I mean, first first accomplishment of the day. <laughs> yeah. If the the people that wake up and don't do their bed, you fail the first thing to do. Every day you fail. It. Mm -hmm. It's not that's not a good thing because you attract that energy. I mean, you attract that failure. So I wake up and make and make the bed every day. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That's feel good bro and i'm and i'll do some push-ups and i'll work out real quick even if it's two three minutes you know, some type of something you know what i mean yeah. so now you're mind racing already you got the yeah, adrenaline yeah, your arm you punching all yeah that. you got your shit focused on now when you gotta do some tasks oh gotta go ahead do this gotta go ahead do this got you already focused you're not damn i just got up i'm fried mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you're already emotional on on on, on getting shit popping you know yeah and start with that energy is everything mm -hmm. And and you got you got great energy too. Like video shoot, we was outside. You was lit talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. Just feel good, right? Mm -hmm. And then this, this is about like I only this is my second time meeting you, and I already know your energy and how you are. You know what I mean? That. Yeah. So like that just that. really speaks at 
how you are as a person. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause man, I ain't gonna lie. Mike Tyson said some shit that stuck with me so legendary. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, I know so many great people. You know I'm saying, but being great don't make you a good person. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn. So. Ah, we all aspire to be great and want to be great and do great things and all that, but what's being great if you ain't a good person, you know? So that's that's what I, my motivation, to be the best person I could be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because once you be the best person you could be, you put the right energy out, you, you, you put nothing but positivity and love out and respect out, trust me, you're going to get that shit back times a hundred. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit gonna come back with the energy you put out is gonna come back. So be careful with what you put out too, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause you're gonna get that back. Yeah. So besides Pistol Pete and like the whole KAR boys, did you have anybody else like that growing up who kinda took you under the wing and showed you the ropes like you're yeah, trying to do I'm to a, people yeah, now? I, I, I ain't gonna lie. My, my career as a rapper been the easiest it could have been. Even though it's the hardest, it's, it, everything is hard. But as far as that, like somebody being like, "Yo, I want to fuck with you and do," come on, where I ain't have to pay for studio time, where I ain't have to really pay for those things that a bunch of up and coming artists gotta pay for, and it's costly, efficient. That shit is, it costs a lot of bread mm -hmm. to fucking go to the studio and shoot videos and put projects together and put artwork together and have a wardrobe. And I've been blessed since the be very beginning mm -hmm. that. I went to the studio, like I told you, from the beginning with, with a couple people that started rapping, Killer K and all these guys, and we had Rock, what was it, Rock, 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 oh, Rock Wilder Records. Yeah, yeah, you remember that shit? Yeah, I remember that. That's crazy, so we had that shit, and we went to the studio, and a guy from the studio, the next day called me to come back. Mm -hmm. And I went, and he was like, yo, out of the six people that came here last night, I like, I like you, I wanna work with you, I wanna work with you. Do a project, a mixtape. You want? If you willing to, I'm like, what the? F Hell yeah, let's go. I'm not about to say no to no. So from work. there, that started everything, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's the guy that I ended up meeting Pete through. Oh, so yeah. imagine that. Yeah. So it went from I met him. He helped me out. We was in his studio working, and Pete and him ended up going there working. So hmm. like, I like the my road was like a blessing. Yeah. G shit like. People just end up picking it out, like, yo, come on, man, I see it, I see it. Mm -hmm. So that's why I believe in myself so much, because people believed in me before even I did. Yeah. Before even I knew I had it, I was just doing it because I loved it, and we all doing it. Oh, Everyone shit, doing yeah. it, you at the studio, yeah. might as well just start Niggas is like, yo, you got it. I'm like, I got it, oh, shit, bet, <laughs> let's go, I <laughs> like, got it. Now I got to turn it up a couple yeah, more notches. Know. Thank you, I mean, right? thank you for the, the aspiration, and it's... That's inspiring to me that you see it in me. Like mm -hmm. you, you see, you see that I that I could do this shit. So who am I to not take that and be like, oh shit, I can do this. Let's go. Yeah. And obviously, I've shown that I can. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Bringing it back to me doing shit that nobody is the city have done. Like, far as I know, like I don't know. Correct me if I'm yeah, wrong. Nah, you're not wrong. Like, let's look. Like, I, can we do the research one day? Mm -hmm. And somebody, I, cause as far as I know, and as far as the. Anybody that nobody has said any different. No, nah, not at all. So and not even just your city. We could even do Jersey if we're being real. Thank you. I was gonna say I that. was gonna say there's probably how many people in Jersey? Ten people who did it and you probably number six or five on the it's list. That's kinda crazy. You know what I when mean? When you start really thinking about the details, mm -hmm. I don't go at that far thinking sometimes. But when I do, I'll be like, it's shocking to me. It's I'm like, oh shit. If you think about Jersey, mm -hmm. how many rappers in Jersey have been doing it? Mainstream radio and, and in the bu buildings I'm in and in the rooms I'm in and yeah. making the noise I'm making. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I don't have a deal. Nothing, all I'm, independent. Yes, Word. I don't have a deal. I'm not, I'm, no, mm -hmm. we're not signed to no major. We don't, it's, it's me and yeah. That's off the muscle. Done. Yeah, on some real shit. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, man, holla at me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we being real too, like it's Jersey. It's it's not just my city, it's Jersey. It's Fetty Wap that did it recently, right? Mm -hmm. Before him, who was it? We have to go back to the OGs. If we're Joe being real. Budden. Joe Budden. We Look gotta go back to far. Joe Budden. We gotta go back to Lauren Hill. We look gotta at, go back to Method Man. And look how big, Red Man, look mm -hmm. how big the artist is. 
what I'm saying? Not Method Man. He's from New York. Oh yeah, Red Man. Red Man. Red Man. Red, just but just imagine that list, and now I'm in that mix. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? And, for, and sometimes I get a little, you know what I mean? As an artist, I get a little discouraged because you get lost in and 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 seeking people validation and, and acknowledging certain things. Yeah. But that's another advice I can give artists. Like, don't 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 worry about if people don't see what you don't, the facts, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If they don't see it, they don't see it, but the facts are the facts. You can't change that ever. This shit yeah. is written, this is history, nigga. Mm -hmm. You can't take that away. That nigga, SF, did that, and he's amongst this list. Mm -hmm. Can't take, you can't erase that. No, they, no can can say, they can say whatever they want, yeah, but that number's can, not gonna They can pop. say whatever they want or not say nothing about it at all. Mm -hmm. One thing's for certain, I'm there. Yeah, no, the I'm number's saying, never I'm in that mix, you know what I'm saying? And, Shit, word. The only project I put out is almost at a million. I got almost at seven hundred thousand streams right now. What's that? That's the, the real Carlito. Carlito. Yeah, that's my only project. I got like seven joints on there. Every joint is pretty much to me. Is I feel like it's a banger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you Where had Hattie Rax on there. Yeah. Shout out to he Hattie. from uh -huh. he from uh, shout out to he from Newark, right? Nah, Hattie from uh, the Bronx. Oh, he from the Bronx. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, I got him mixed up with somebody else. Um. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, and that was back in 2019. Yes, sir. And then you put out mm -hmm. five singles, six singles since then? Price went up, Splash. Big Bands. Big Bands, Personal. Click Clack. It's a freestyle, but it still went out. Boom, Bronx, New York. Click Clack was a freestyle? Yeah, that's Big that's Bing Bong. That's a whole, the whole thing freestyle. Did you know the Bing Bong song? Nah, which was the that? The Nems. Oh, yeah, yeah, Bing yeah. Bing Bong. The, the, Mm -hmm. That's that. Oh, I need to forgot that's together. that. That's what I'm saying. Oh shit. We bodied that shit so legendary. Mm -hmm. and people forgot that was Bing Bong. Yeah. And that was his hit. That was. I didn't even peep that. Wow. <laughs> you just fucked my whole mind up. No lie. <laughs> Gee shit. That that was Bing Bong, nigga. That I turned that shit to click clack and that shit went crazy. Shout out to enough cause that nigga was he he was dice. He told me. He called me. He was like, "Yo, that was called dissecting the record." <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god, you made me sound like I'm the biggest artist in the world." <laughs> so now I was like, "How do you feel about yeah, that?" He, he's like, "You you deserve it. You deserve it." I'm like, "Man, this is this is Biggie Smalls DJ." Mm -hmm. Like, I t people do the history and forget this is this is a legendary motherfucker doing that for me, dissecting my record like that, and calling me to tell me about it. Mm -hmm. I, I respect and love that man so much. Whatever he need from me, man, I'm, I'm gonna always make sure I show up for him. Oh, of course, Real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, how Nems feel about that track? Nem, shout out to Nems. He he's on uh, Live Is Outside. Oh, for Nems mm -hmm. trap and outside uh, money. That's that's the yeah. That's Kr Kr boys right now. That's what we working. He's on that joint. He's yeah. Bodied that shit. Can't wait for niggas to hear that shit. Flex just played that shit the other night. Shout out to Flex. Flex be showing mad love too. Yeah, for sure. Because he, he Flex place. tapped in with everybody. He just not tapped in with the mm -hmm. big mainstream people. He always yeah. be looking out for everybody. Yeah, for sure. He he don't really yeah he don't really rock with the major artists like that. He he's he's all New York up and coming and and who's doing their thing in New York and he's he's big on his like repping his city and repping his set. So I, yeah. I respect Flex for that. You know what I'm saying. Sure. And I respect him showing Jersey all his love too. We need a flex freestyle. That's what we need. I ain't gonna lie. We looking forward to that. That's definitely one of the things on the bucket list for you. Ain't oh it? man, when I get up there, I ain't gonna. He better be ready, cause I'm gonna go in. Keep that shit rolling. 14, 15 minutes. I ain't stopping nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I gotta do, man. But however, it, however it go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. However it go, I'm, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Straight up. So now, we spoke about. K.A.R. a little bit and how mm -hmm. you who is it you Trap Rob Cash are the three main rappers and you got more rappers no 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 it's me Trap and Sop you Trap and Sop and then all right. yeah and Fame okay that's, that's the main that. that's K.A.R. boys by mm -hmm. the way I just want to make it clear that's that's uh, Trap Sop Money Fame mm -hmm. K.A.R. boys shout out to Gap and y'all together is just we fuego <laughs> Beyond, yeah, and that's it. it's like y'all are bringing a sound back that we haven't heard mm -hmm. in a while. We're bringing that New York shit, but you're doing the New York I'm sound y'all way. 
Yeah, I'm a Jersey nigga making noise in New York with New York niggas. Mm -hmm. I said, I said in the song, I said I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Jersey nigga. I, I said I'm in New York stepping with the Giants. I'm a Jersey nigga stepping with the Giants in New York. Some shit like that. I was like, Shh, going in on that shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm one of the rare, I'm one of the rare Jersey artists that's in the middle of the Bronx making it happen. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The home of the home of hip hop. Literally. Cedric Guy of Home of the Hip Hop. Home of Hip Hop, where it started, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? History, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm fucking with the realists in front of Bronx. I'm know? not gonna lie, I pulled, I pulled up to the project building, uh, Cedric Guy where DJ Cool Herc used to live. Yo, no lie, I pulled up, and I'm literally just sitting there looking at the door, like... Cause me, I've been studying hip hop ever since I could fucking remember. Fire. Like, I remember coming home in first grade, turning on MTV Jams, and seeing Nelly hot in here music video, you know what I mean? That's crazy. I remember getting in my brother's car when he drove, because he an 80s baby. He bumping John Rule's new tape. So, like, I've been That's a crazy. fan of this and studying it my whole life. So, for me to pull up to that building and just look at that door, history. Like, Yo, that's crazy. I was, like, got the chills almost. Yeah, it's definitely history, son. Mm -hmm. Me and me, and me being around all that area and running through that shit. And, Shout out to shout out to Pistol, shout out to TS, shout out to the Bronx, man. Word, showing how to love. Shout out to Park Ave, you already know. The trenches, nigga. And y'all said you still working nonstop. Hell uh, yeah. Y'all be in the we studio all the time uh, with them. Huh? Everybody, everybody, we all gotta work. You know what I'm saying? If we expect something out of it, we better put some put some work in. Yeah. Is now is everybody on the same Put that work in because if not, don't expect shit from this shit. We ain't gonna put no work in. Yeah. If you're not gonna put Shit. no work in, we just gonna act like you're not even there at that point. Yeah, like forget about it. Are they on the same page as you are when it comes to this music shit? Where it's like Hell we yeah. just gonna keep pushing singles out, singles out. No, we I mean, not focus on a project. Uh, um, we actually just put together back together the KR. Like KR boys is new. Know I'm saying. Yeah. It's been KR. KR been a thing for been around for a minute. Saying? That's that's been that's been there forever. Yeah. But. Pete just put it back together as far as artists, you know, the KR boys is something new. And that just happened in Click Clack. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was the start of it. Yeah. So from there to now, this is where we at. We've, we've already established a bunch of things. But I don't say we ain't putting a project together. We Anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. we don't know. We still, we still, we still in a mix of, mix, mix, this shit is brand new, so mm -hmm. if we put a project together, we put it together. We 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 gonna single it all the way through, and and this person drop a single, we all drop a single together. This person single, wh whatever, however it is, you're gonna get great music regardless. You know yeah. what I'm That's, I know we got five, we got five production. Shout out to J One, mm -hmm. shout out shout out to Animal. You already know we outside. Got shout out to Miami. We you outside. got a producer in your camp, or you be going to outside producers for uh, shit. For, from the looks of it, J One is is the in house right now. Mm -hmm. J One Music. He did a lot of shit for uh, for um, fucking Jim Jones and um, what's that project he had? Jim Jones and um, what's his name? Mano. Oh yeah, the the Lobby Boys, not yeah. the Lobby Boys. Yeah, Lobby, lobby Boys. boys. He yeah, did, he did some shit on there. He he worked with a bunch of people. He he got hella beats. He got mm -hmm. some fire beats. Oh, wow. He he produced Bronx, New York. Matter of fact. Oh word. Yeah, and that's the track that just came out before the New Year, didn't it? That dropped on Thanksgiving too. Yeah. Yeah. Dropped the same day. So now, speaking of these rappers, right? These famous rappers, you know a lot of people, you be around everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know you try to sneak a feature in there. Like, yo, Jim. Yeah, you know what's <laughs> I'm crazy? on this track. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, look, it's funny you say that. I promise you, man, and I can't even front. I never ask nobody for nothing. Word? I don't even ask people for a picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I'll be in certain rooms, like, oh shit, look at. Oh, damn. And if I say what's up, I say what's up. But I never be like, yo, come on, let's take a picture. It's very rare that I do that, you know what I mean? But I feel like at this point, I realize that's not that's not what I'm here for. You know what I mean, I'm not here just to take a picture with somebody or or hope to ask for a feature. Nah, if it happened, I want it to be organically, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm, maybe, maybe they come up to me on some shit like, yo, we'd love to work with you. And I'd be like, ha! Glad you said that, because I was dying to work with you, but I didn't want to ask. I've been thinking about this shit for 10 years. You know me? <laughs> shit like that. And, and then and that could be a laughing moment within two artists. Like, damn, yeah. nigga, you should have been told me. We could have been had some work together. But mm 
at the same time, I, I be, you know, I just be humble with it, and I don't like to intrude people like that space. And I'm sure, I'm sure they get asked that by billions of niggas all the time. You know, oh, right? so yeah. I don't want to be the billion one nigga to my yo, yo, can I get a feature? Like, mm -hmm. plus I don't really like. I don't really like getting told no, so like fucking no. Instead of getting no, let me just not even ask. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't even rap, and if I run into them, I might even ask for a feature. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would, like, love to. I would love to. I ain't gonna lie, I would love to. Yeah, but nah, at the same time, I, I, I want to establish my my brand, my name, where a nigga be like, yo, S up. Where Jim be like, yo, S up. You, 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 I ain't gonna lie, you you want, you want your shit, nigga. We need, to, we, we need to get the work. Yeah. I'm be like, all right, cop, well, let's get it now. Yeah, Fuck, it's like glad you, you said it. It's like you building yourself up and your core base up, mm -hmm. so they don't know you as. So don't, yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah. the rapper that was on the, the track with Jim song. Jones. Nah, they, you want them to know you exactly. as USF. You yeah, want but I, I, I establish my brand first before somebody make my name for me. Yeah, yeah. fuck that. I rather, I rather that. Mm -hmm. Even though it's great to have features, you know, and every artist would love to have a feature, man. But at the same time. I would love to have my own big song. Oh yeah. Or just KL boys having their own big song, our own big song. Mm -hmm. so start their our own brand. Yeah. I mean that we're everybody calling executives, artists, DJs. This now we lit because we got our own shit lit. Not mm -hmm. such and such did the song with them and now they popping. Oh Drake jumped on it. That's why. Nah. I mean now now that's gonna be yo how he got on though. Oh yeah, Drake jumped on the song. How, how Migos got on. Oh yeah, Drake did uh, uh did he remix this track. Uh what? what was it? Um Versace. Yeah. Oh Drake got on Versace and they popped off. Nah, Migos was popping before that. They Word. was doing their thing. They all the mixed. How the fuck do you think Drake jumped on the shit? They was doing their thing already. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I wanna be like that. Yeah. Rest in peace to take off. Yeah, RP takeoff, man. Word, that shit is crazy as fuck. Mm -hmm. So now RP K Slate. And yeah, rest in peace K Slate too. Another legendary Word is ball. Legendary man. That lost. shit hurt that shit hurt a lot of people. He helped so many people. He helped people you need like the biggest artists. Mm -hmm. He put fifty cent on, he put a lot of people on. You remember I fifty cent uh DJ K Slate's album he put out where fifty had that song, uh fuck. This the sound of the gun. Yeah, click, click. yeah. This the sound of the gun. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm talking about. Thing. Mm -hmm. That thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nigga. That's that's K Slade. Mm -hmm. that, niggas don't know that shit. K Slade been helping everybody from fucking beginning to 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 the to, may he rest in peace to till the end. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Because. It's crazy. I, I spoke to him maybe three months before he passed away, and he was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, can you give me some shit like like you had with the whistle in the beginning?" Because I had a song that it started with pistol whistle, mm -hmm. and it's like a boom bap hip hop shit. That's what K Slate loved. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And he kept telling me, "Yo, can I get something else like that again? Like I need something like that from you, man. I love, I like, I like the big bands, but that's that Drewski and them guys played and enough play that. Give me that all. Give me that. Let me get that. Shit. Yeah, I want that boom bap from you, man. I like how you rap like that." Mm -hmm. Case late telling me that. Yeah. And and that shit happened to me. That shit was fucking heartbreaking. Right? That's why I love how y'all really showed him mad love in that click clack video too. I had to, had to do that in front of a mirror. Can you imagine Case Lee would have fucking loved click clack? Yo, that shit would be spinning every fucking day. That nigga would have been like, this is what the fuck I want from y'all niggas. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to hear, nigga. This, that, bro, all this, that fucking hip hop I want to hear from y'all niggas. Word up. Word, he loved the, that, 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 the bars, and he liked to be like, oh, you heard this nigga said? Like, yeah, he, 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 he used to put the faces and shit when you hear his certain shit, like, mm. and I used to watch him, like, damn, man, look at this K Slade doing that shit to my song. I'm like, that's Word fucking up. crazy. And that song would have been the perfect one because, man, I said it in my reaction video. I said, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who had the best verse on here. I, not on I no competition shit, but yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. all three of y'all walk that song. For sure. It's hard to sit there and be like, I don't even know what verse I like the most, because that sure. shit was fire. For sure, that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. So now, when y'all in the studio next time, right? Like after that track, how do you one up a song like that? That's Is that shit. even a thought process or not? I probably, yeah. I mean, probably subconsciously you would. Have that type of thought process, but I want to have it like conscious, like yo, we have to do better than the next. I mean, the last joint. I mean, then I feel like that's why I've been making the music I've been making because I gave myself that type of thought process. Like, damn man, my next song is better than the last song I make. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, all my songs keep getting better. Yo, I keep making better music. Yo, I keep me telling myself that and me putting the energy and work behind it is actually fucking transpiring. I mean, it's manifesting. I'm actually making better music. I'm actually making better songs than the last song. Yeah. My verse is better than the last verse I did. It's like, I, if I continue doing that, it's like, ain't no limit. Oh, so, yeah. So now, what we got coming next? I know we was talking a little bit. You said y'all be in the studio. Y'all got compilations ready. Mm -hmm. You got like a single you trying to push one by yourself. Percent. One million percent. I got a group single. I got a KR Boys single that, that I don't want to disclose it yet because yeah. we still in the midst, midst of uh, working live is outside in Bronx, New York and oh, shit yeah. like that. Those two records is out right now. Um, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to, you know, sidetrack yeah, exactly. off that. So, but there is a KR Boys ready to go. The shit is in the chamber, ready mm -hmm. to go. And it's a super banger, by the way. I believe it's a smash. Mm -hmm. I believe it's one you of those. Tell, you ones. can tell us the name of it. There's a name to nah, the song yet. Yeah, nah. yeah, if oh, I say the name, it's gonna it's gonna, gonna ruin the whole thing. thing. Fuck around. You. If I say the name and this interview come out and the song hasn't came out yet, you have artists trying to do the song. Oh yeah, most yeah. Type yeah, shit. Like, oh, I didn't think of that idea. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. It's it's one of those. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I got one in the tub by myself. Crazy. I don't want to say the, uh, the the song to that. Yeah. Either it's just crazy. That shit crazy. You just just know that's the summer anthem too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just wait. I'm making anthems. That's that's where my fucking brain is at at this point. I want to my songs, whether it's with my group, whether it's my solo joints, whether it's a feature. Mm -hmm. I need to make an anthem. Yeah. It's like you put the work in for all these years. They know your name. They know that you be doing this. Now it's really time to show them. How far you can do this shit? Yeah, we're gonna take this shit all the way to the top. I promise you. I already saw it, man. I, like, I ain't gonna lie, but you know, niggas be having, you be having visions and things like, whether it's deja vu, whether it's dreams, whether it's those visions you have, man. If if, if, if it's the right ones and you stick to it and you put your energy and your 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 will behind that. Yeah. Telling you, man, you can make it happen, bro. It's called law of attraction. This shit is just inevitable. Yeah. What you put your work into is going to happen. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Whether negative or positive. Man, I like that. You was dropping some gems at this bitch. God Facts. damn. Facts. I hope people pay attention, man, because it's real shit. I learned so much, and I've been, for, I've been down. I've been up. I've been at the bottom, at the lowest. I've been broken. Like you were saying though, like the whole manifestation thing, like that's it's real. real. It's real. <laughs> it's the realest shit in the fucking planet. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a universal law. Yeah. It's, 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 it's like it's mandatory. Like the shit. Trust me, man. Mm -hmm. I, yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's what I do my whole life. I'm saying, unfortunately, like you can't control everything. Obviously, yeah. you know what I'm saying so. Bad shit will happen. Mm -hmm. Just gotta be ready for it. I mean, unfortunate shit will happen. You gotta be prepared for it. But you can make great things happen. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Trust me. Yeah. Even you, you yourself, you you sit and think and, and put the work in enough. It's gonna happen, bro. Mm -hmm. Trust me. See, that's why I like to tell people. I always say, your life was written when you was born. Your book was written chapter by chapter, but you the author, you could change your shit. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. run into something, boom, oh, now I'm gonna do this mm -hmm. with my life. That's how you, re your response and your reaction is everything. Mm -hmm. Word up. Your reaction is what you're gonna get back later. So I learned I learned that as well, how to start reacting, you know yeah. what I mean? Because you used to overreact or, or, or maybe not react when I should or maybe react the wrong way. Or Trust me, your reaction, how you respond to certain things, also molds your manifesting too. Oh you know yeah, saying? and then once you learn to react the right way, now you looking back like, damn. Damn, I was a fucking dickhead <laughs> doing that shit like that. Or, oh man, why would I? Why was I doing like that? Was killing my energy doing that. I'm mm -hmm. saying shit like that. Yeah. And now people don't realize that energy shit, bro. The energy shit is it's the realest thing. It's, it's big. The only thing. It's, it's big. big. I believe in that before I believe in like what somebody says or or shit like that, like words or. The energy is everything, bro. Yeah. That shit is really real. Bro. Yeah, because a lot of these people... It's actually scary. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these people is really giving out false dreams to you. You probably ran into that a lot throughout your career. Yeah. Yo, SF, come with me. I could do this. We could do this. We could make this happen. Mm -hmm. And you're sitting there like, 
I've been through this before. Yeah, I know yeah, you ain't gonna yeah, make yeah. nothing happen. That's why I stay, stay loyal, stay ten toes, stay focused, and just stay solid, bro. Keep, keep doing, keep believing in yourself. Keep doing what you gotta do. That's it, bro. Yeah. Man, what else you wanna tell the people out there, man? Um, pretty much just follow me, man. Follow me on my Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Superstar flaws everywhere. I mean. You put superstar flaws, sh should be the first shit to pop up. Mm -hmm. Ain't really much, you know what I mean? Too many shit that look like that, so you, you'll see it easily. And other than that, man, just stay tuned, because I got a lot of shit coming, a lot of new music. This year, I'm so inspired. Last year, I was so broken. This year, I'm so inspired. I can't wait to go hard and go crazy. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Man, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see uh, yeah. what's going on because what we've seen so far from you and the KAR boys, I can only imagine how y'all gonna, gonna keep going elevate that. It's next. gonna get crazier and crazier. And I'm telling you, it's gonna get crazy. Mm -hmm. Niggas, we're we gonna be one. We're gonna be one of the biggest things in, in, in the fucking music business. Watch. Bringing back real hip hop from mm -hmm. New York, the birthplace of the shit, Facts. and it's over after that. Facts. And we gotta get you in tune with some of the some of the local guys out here too. Yeah. There's, 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 there's some love, of the dudes man. that you would like a lot. I, I don't mind showing love and inspiring, bro, because I needed that too. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe I could tell them something that'll trigger them and be like, oh, damn. Exactly. The exactly. just says, okay, I gotta be like that. I gotta focus like that. Or I gotta, whatever, anything. If I can help a little bit, I, I'm, I feel good about that, yeah. you know? Man, oh, shit. this is a dope conversation, bro. I appreciate you yeah. for coming through for this real shit. Real shit, my nigga. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Brave Heart Entertainment. Of course. KAR Boys, SF, Yak Music, Child the Pistol, MI, CR. You already know, man. We outside with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, even think, I don't even think I gotta say anything else after that. Real but shit. look, it's your boy B Hill, Brave Heart Entertainment, my man SF, KAR Boys. Y'all know all that shit. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.